हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बर्टन डियोपोली मॉडल दिस मॉडल इज गिवन बाय फ्रेंच मैथमेटिशियन बर्टन इन 1883 दिस मॉडल इज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम कोर्नोट मॉडल बिकॉज़ इन कोर्नोट मॉडल सेलर्स अज्यूम आउटपुट ऑफ देयर राइवल विल रिमेन कांस्टेंट बट इन बर्टन मॉडल सेलर्स अज्यूम prices of their uh, rival will remain constant rather than output and assumption of this model are there are two firms and their product is homogeneous means their product is exactly same there is price competition that means firm compete with each other by changing prices and firm want to earn maximum profit there is no cooperation between a firm and there is a no capacity constraint that means firm can produce enough to meet market demand and there is no transaction cost now we understand this model with the help of this diagram here we assume we have only two firms a and b on x axis we have price of a and y axis we have price of b first of all we will see reaction curve of firm a and reaction curve of firm a mainly tell us the response of firm a to the strategy of firm b here we have three points k d and m at k point you can see firm b is taking o b price and firm a is taking o a price o b is more than o a that means at k point firm b is taking more price as compared to firm a at m point from b is taking same price o b but from a is taking o a1 price o a1 is more than o b that means at m point from a is taking more price as compared to from b at d point you can see from b is taking o b1 price but from a is taking o a2 price o b1 is equal to o a2 that means at d point both firms are taking same price means prices of both firms are equal to each other at this d point so here you can see p1 p2 and p3 are iso profit curve of firm a p1 p2 and p3 are iso profit curve of firm a and higher iso profit curve will give us higher amount of profit and lower iso profit curve will give us lower amount of profit and all point on same iso profit curve will give us same amount of profit all point on one iso profit curve will give us same amount of profit that means k d and m all points are giving a same amount of profit to firm a so all these three points k d and m are giving same amount of profit to firm a suppose our initial equilibrium point is m here b is taking o b price but a is taking o a1 price now we assume firm b reduce its product price from ob to ob1 as firm b reduce price profit of a will also reduce because now customer of a is going to b in order to maintain same amount of profit now firm a will also reduce its product price from oa1 to oa2 now our new equilibrium point is d where firm a is getting same level of profit as it was getting at this m point now we assume our equilibrium point is k here b is taking ob price and a is taking oa price and we assume b reduce its product price from ob to ob1 as b reduce price obviously profit of a will also reduce but during this uh, movement a cannot reduce its product price because at k point price of uh, a is already very less as compared to uh, firm b at k point price of firm b is ob and price of a is oa already price of a is very less at this k point that's why at this k point uh, if b will reduce its product price from ob to ob1 a will not reduce its product price now what will a do 
in order to maintain same amount of profit a will increase its product price from oa to oa2 and our new equilibrium point is d because when firm will increase its, uh, its its product price obviously some revenue will increase if revenue increase eventually profit will also increase so in order to maintain same amount of profit firm a will increase its product price from oa to oa2 and our new equilibrium point is d so at this m point price of a is higher as compared to price of b that's why when at this m point b will reduce price a will also reduce price and will reach at this new equilibrium point d but at this k point price of a is already very less that's why when b will reduce price a will not reduce price in such a case in order to maintain same level of profit a will increase its product price and will reach at this new equilibrium point d in both condition a will reach at this new equilibrium point d where price of both firms are equal to each other in such a case firm will not uh, compete with each other so it will be called stable equilibrium point here you can see these are iso profit uh, curve and when we join minimum points of all iso cost profit curve we will get one line this line will be called a's reaction curve same way we can draw b's reaction curve and these uh, curve shows iso profit curve of firm b now we will see nash equilibrium under this model Nash equilibrium is a point where prices are equal to marginal cost. This will be called a minimum price. A firm cannot reduce its product price more. Here, firm just getting normal profit. As we know, normal profit are already included in cost. In this diagram, you can see this will be called B firm reaction firm, and this will be called A firm reaction curve. At this D point, uh, firm B is charging OB price and firm A is charging OA price. Prices of both firms are equal to each other. These prices will be called minimum price. Firm cannot reduce its product price more. And this D point will be called Nash equilibrium point. Here, firms will not compete with each other because they are taking a minimum price. They cannot re reduce its product price more. Plus, prices of both firms are equal to each other at this point. So, D will be called stable equilibrium point or we can say D will be called Nash equilibrium point. If any firm is disagree from this point, then it will create series of action and response and eventually will reach at this D point. So, this will be called Bertrand oligopoly model. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.